So this LEGO Star Wars set has been the talk of the town for the last few weeks. The brand new, and I say brand new, LEGO Star Wars 3-in-1 Galactic Adventures Pack. So just like the name implies, 3-in-1, it is three LEGO Star Wars sets in one package. Now for me, I'm actually a newbie to 3-in-1 sets. I've never owned one before. I know back in the day, in the 2010s, these sets were usually something you would only see in Europe. Uh, most recently, we saw it finally pop up at Walmart, uh, I think about a year or two ago with the Skywalker's Adventures pack, and that was very popular, sold out very quickly. And so LEGO has decided to continue this partnership with Walmart and make more three-in-one sets. So the three sets you're getting is the Imperial Armored Marauder, you're getting the Duel on Mandalore, and you're also getting Trouble on Tatooine. And I like that the box even highlights that you're getting nine minifigures and three sets and for a price tag of $50. So we're gonna find out, is this set worth that price tag? Spoiler alert, it is. But I am, I'm genuinely curious. Again, I've never owned a three-in-ones. I'm kind of curious, is it just these three boxes inside the set? Is it, how is this thing wrapped up? I've never, I've never opened one of these before. So we're gonna find out. Um, which I'm not, I'm not gonna lie, I'm kind of excited. But quickly, just take a step back here and think about this. Nine LEGO Star Wars minifigures for $50. There is no other set, to my knowledge, that has ever been that price. Now, full disclaimer on Walmart.com, where this is exclusively available, it does say it retails for $80, but I've only seen it for $50. Also worth disclaiming, it's sold out currently, but on the occasion it gets restocked online. You could find this at Walmart if you're in the United States and maybe Canada. I'm not sure if anywhere else in the world is gonna be getting this set. It even says the whole, it's a Walmart exclusive. So I would expect this to stay in a North American exclusive at the very least. Well, this is kind of exciting. This is just like an all new Lego Star Wars set to me and I'm definitely very curious now. We're not just gonna be unboxing this set and no, I'm not gonna be reviewing these sets again. I've done reviews, you can check them out on my channel. We're not gonna be doing that. But what we are gonna be doing is I so happen to also have two more three-in-ones. Uh, so there's three sets here and we're gonna be doing a three-in-one giveaway with our sponsor, Whatnot. Do you, do you get the joke? three Lego sets and then it's gonna be given away in one stream on whatnot. It's it's such a bad joke, I know. It really is. Everything here is gonna be given away for free on my whatnot stream. I am so excited to be working with whatnot yet again. And uh, this is gonna be a fun one, guys. So if you wanna win these sets, definitely check out my whatnot stream this Sunday at 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. The link will be down below. Also down below is the link where you can sign up on whatnot and get $10 in free credit although I've seen it's been going up to $15, so you'll have to click the link and find out. I actually don't know, so it's either gonna be 10 or $15, but that's in free credit money that you can use during a whatnot stream and literally get maybe a free Lego minifigure. All you have to do there is just pay the $4 shipping. So that's pretty exciting, so you can usually find pretty good deals, not even just on my whatnot stream, but other streams out there. There's plenty of people selling Lego Star Wars or just Lego in general and whatnot. I have literally been buying stuff from whatnot recently for my upcoming coming Geonosis mock. I've bought some clone pilots on there. So if you're interested in especially Lego Star Wars minifigures or just Lego, you can find some pretty good deals. I myself have been finding some as well. So very exciting and I'm very excited that during my stream I'm going to be giving away these three Lego Star Wars sets including the one I'm going to be opening up. So these two will be sealed and we'll have an open one that will also be uh, given away, so that's exciting. So again, a three-in-one giveaway. So make sure you bookmark that stream, follow me on Whatnot, and don't miss out on this giveaway because these sets currently are sold out. So definitely a rare opportunity to get your hands on these for free. Thanks again to Whatnot for sponsoring this video, and without ado, let's go ahead and continue on. You know, there's something else I just noticed on this box. There's this, uh, I don't know, it's just le lego.com slash apps. I don't know, it's a new symbol. Maybe nobody cares. <laughs> I care, I don't know, I pay attention to the Lego boxes. You know, I also have to say, I gotta give props to Walmart. I did purchase all these three one sets, and when they came in, they're 
all in peak condition. There's no like bad damage or anything to them. There's no like creases in the box, like which is really nice to see. I know that's like such a minor thing, but sometimes when I order from Lego.com, Amazon, Target, sometimes you get dented up boxes and that's disappointing, but my experience with Walmart was pretty good. Now again, here's the back of the box with all three Lego Star Wars sets. It is worth pointing out that the Marauder goes for 40, the Duel on Mandalore retails for 20, and I believe the Trouble on Tatooine set was either 20 or $30. So we're looking at 80 to $90 in full value that you're getting for $50, which is crazy. Um, even if you have like one or two of these sets, it still might be worth picking up this set. All right, but like, let's get into this. I'm, I'm literally genuinely curious, what does the inside of a three-in-one pack look like? Like seriously, let's see, what do you get? <laughs> it literally, oh my God, wow. <laughs> it's just three sets. That is so fun. Oh, actually, you get a little bit of extra cardboard. That is funny. Oh my gosh. It literally, wow. But these sets are in peak condition. Like, you want, you want perfectly, you want perfect Lego Star Wars boxes that you get the three in one. Like, these are pristine boxes. Never been touched. Nobody opened them up, it looks like. Some, maybe a machine put this in the box because they look so, so good. But yeah, it's just three Lego Star Wars sets and a piece of cardboard. That is so funny. Oh my gosh. Wow. <laughs> well, I learned something today. It is also really cool though that all three of these sets have the older box art with the white uh, Lego background and the three-in-one set has the new box art. So I don't know about you, but I like the newer box art that came out in 2022. It looks far better than the white Lego Star Wars uh, themed boxes. I think this is far superior in terms of box art. But let's go ahead and put all three together and see what that $50 value looks like out on the table with built sets. So I have all the sets built now and I did also verify the prices of these sets. It is actually $90 of retail price between these three sets, even though walmart.com has it listed at $80. So quite the value here. If you're looking at it in that way, $90 for $50, literally you're getting just the regular sets just in a actually pretty cool package right here with this awesome, I think better box art. So yeah, I mean, we know these sets, they've been out for over a year now. Uh, Trouble on Tatooine has been around for almost two years now. These two sets were summer sets. This was a winter 2021 set. So, you know, we're familiar with these sets. Now, I think the question is, I'm sure a lot of you might have at least one of these sets, maybe actually all of them. And if that's the case, should you even consider this set regardless of that? Honestly, yes. I think uh, another way to look at this three-in-one set is that you could pull out, you know, the Imperial Armored Marauder from the set, and then you'll have two other sealed sets that might be worth some money down the road, or vice versa, where you think the Imperial Marauder or the Duel on Mandalore. Actually, I could see Duel on Mandalore going up in value pretty quickly because the AAT and this set are supposed to be retiring at the end of this year. Ahsoka, the show is coming out next year, and I'm sure LEGO will make, you know, another Ahsoka minifigure, but if you guys saw what happened to just the Clone Wars Ahsoka minifigures as well as the Rebels Ahsoka minifigure, they go up in value very quickly. And so this set I think is, uh, is something that will go up in value and then you also get Darth Maul. So yeah, you could keep this sealed and open these two sets or keep this, like there's options. And I really like that actually. I know it's it was definitely a little strange that you're just getting a bunch of sealed sets and another sealed set. But I like that option if that if you want to go the investment route with this, you don't want to build all the sets, you can choose what you want to build or just, you know, keep this thing sealed. But what I really like about this LEGO Star Wars Galactic Adventures pack is it's such a good entry point for a LEGO Star Wars fan. So, you know, if you're new to LEGO Star Wars or you know someone who wants to get into the hobby, uh, or is just interested in Lego and maybe they want to dabble in Star Wars. This is such a good little entry point into Lego Star Wars because you're getting so much for your money. You're getting so many minifigures, a very good uh, vast array of sets and functionality between these three. I like it. And plus they're also from pretty cool scenes 
from whether it's from the Mandalorian, the Clone Wars, so that also helps too. Um, so there's there's a lot of potential. You could look at this in an investment way. You could look at this as a gift. You could look at this as an entryway into Lego Star Wars. I want to see more of these in the future. Um, I think it's. I think it's disappointing that we're only getting like maybe one a year or one every other year it seems like. So I hope in the future Lego and Walmart continue to collaborate and continue to make these three in one sets. So at the end of the day, uh, this is a no brainer. Even if you have these sets, you should just get this to have um, just because of well, one, it's a cool looking box, but two, it's just too good of a value to pass up and I can see why it's been going out of stock very frequently on walmart.com. I'm very impressed with this, uh, more than I thought it would be. Even though it's just a bunch of repackaged LEGO Star Wars sets, the value proposition and uh, the cool factor of the exclusivity and all that uh, really contribute to this being a really great LEGO Star Wars buy. So highly recommend. And don't forget guys, I also have Another three-in-one. We have two sealed ones here that will be given away for free on Whatnot. So I appreciate them for sponsoring this video. And then also, I'll be giving away the built version right here as well on Whatnot. So if you want the uh, the Lego Star Wars sets built by Solid Brick Studios, then that is something uh, that will be given away this Sunday at 6 p.m. Well, thanks guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in another Lego Star Wars video. Hope you guys have a great, wonderful day, and I'll see you guys later. Bye bye.